When you think Charleston coastline, you may think beaches, fishing, sunbathing, and surfing. But when the men and women of the 628th Air Base Wing Security Forces Squadron Harbor Patrol Unit think coastline, it's a different story entirely. This episode of Meeting the Mission. sun has just risen over the water of the Cooper River, and MA-2 Brian Cobb and Air Force Staff Sergeant Ernest Witham load up and head out for a patrol. I'm uh, Staff Sergeant Ernest Witham. I'm a coxswain here at 628 Security Forces Squadron HBU unit. Coxswain's a certified um, member of the patrol unit here. We uh, go through qualifications to make sure that we're qualified to operate the boat in a safe manner. Uh, make sure that we're aware of our surroundings, know the job. The waters of patrol are uh, the Cooper River. Uh, we operate all the way up to Bushy Park, which is a little boat ramp that you can put your boat in either the salt side or the freshwater side. Uh, Goose Creek. Goose Creek runs from uh, the Cooper River up towards Goose Creek Reservoir. But we operate 27 miles of coastline. But before you ever enter the boat, you've got to get wet. Welcome to the Citadel Pool. Men and women from all branches of service come here to qualify for their swim class two. The class two swim test consists of an abandoned ship jump, tactical clothing inflation, and multiple swimming styles, and a five minute dead man's float. Though it may sound like a lot, every part of the test prepares you for certain taskings on the water. One of those taskings is patrol boat duty. So where did it all begin? To find out, we need to take a step back in time. The year is 1966. Lyndon B. Johnson is president, and the Vietnam War is in full effect. As long as others will challenge America's security and test the dearness of our beliefs with fire and steel, then we must stand or see the promise of two centuries crumble. The United States Navy stands up its Patrol Unit Riverine, or PBR, Task Force 116. They defend river traffic areas such as the Mekong Delta and the Saigon River. During this time, they were frequently involved in firefights with enemy boats and soldiers on the shore. The PBR supported the Vietnam War effort until their extraction in 1975. Flash forward to the year 2000, after the bombing of the USS Cole in the harbor of Aden, Yemen. The United States stands up the Mobile Expeditionary Unit, who in turn established small boat units to protect U.S. assets from the water. The 628th Security Forces Harbor Patrol Unit is tasked with protecting Naval Weapons Station assets. They do this with top-of-the-line river patrol vehicles. The 27-foot Sea Ark is equipped with two 150-horsepower outboard engines with an approximate top speed of 40 miles per hour. The boats were built as a blocking force with the ability to maneuver quickly. With a skilled coxswain at the helm, these boats are able to achieve top speeds and still turn on a dime. Coxswain MA-2 Jessica Thurber has been behind the helm of several different patrol boats over the past eight years. But even with all the different duty locations and water vessels she's manned, one thing never changes. Well, when I get behind the helm of the boat, um, it's almost like my second home. I've been doing it for the better part of a decade now. Um, I feel really comfortable. Really, it doesn't matter if it's calm or if we have rough water, um, really if we're training or if it's just average day operations. Um, it's really, to me, the boat is kind of like an extension of, say, my arm. I, I just feel it's like, it's almost like a second home to me. The men and women of the 628 Security Forces Harbor Patrol Unit guard and protect the assets of our Navy brothers and sisters. 
In doing so, they continue a time-honored tradition of the men and women who served before them. I firmly believe I'm going to be one, I'm going to be that old timer sitting at the VFW, you know, with my, my Navy stories, you know, when I'm, you know, 80, 90 years old, that's, that's, in looking back, is these are some of the best years of my life, you know. These are, you know, we live in trying times, but these are still some of the best years, and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything.